edition of Wednesday Night Rivalry presented by Coors Light. We had a terrific first game, a great matchup here in the second game of the doubleheader as the Ducks host the defending Stanley Cup champion LA Kings. Right now, LA is on the correct side of the playoff line only because they are tied in points with Calgary and they've played one less game. If LA does not get a point tonight, they will drop below the playoff line. This will be the fourth time these teams have met in the regular season this year. Three of the four have been decided by a goal. So much at stake, especially for Los Angeles. So much passion when these teams get together. Opening face-off coming up after this. Let's take a look at the numbers for our starting goalies presented by Honda. Fifth time these teams have played, but the first time we'll see this goaltending matchup. Jonathan Quick gets the nod. It'll be his ninth consecutive start for the defending Stanley Cup champions. He is back on top of his game of late. At the other end, it will be John Gibson making his fourth consecutive start for Bruce Boudreaux. There you see his number so far on the season. And Drew Doughty, who leads the National Hockey League in average time on ice, and most of the time he's playing difficult minutes besides a high quantity of minutes. And we are underway. Dave Strader in the broadcast booth, and Brian Engblom is our man inside the glass right away. Here's Kessler closing in, and he tried to go high on the short glove side there on Quick. It just missed it over top of the net. Not very sharp to start. LA Kings get caught there. Give up a 2 on one in the first five, six seconds of the game. Bad sign. Lopatar backhands it ahead. It's knocked down by Bolshev, and this crowd is into it right from the start here in Honda Center. Now back the other way. Paul Mary with a shot kicked out, a rebound given up there by Jonathan Quick. And it's recovered now by Bolshevin, who sends it back in along the boards. Regeer is checked there by Pileski, but now Dowdy will come out with it. And hands it off on the right wing side as Trevor Lewis dumps it back across in front of Gibson into the Anaheim zone. Simone Dupre, one of the pre-deadline acquisitions by general manager Bob Murray. A little different look for this Anaheim team. Brian, especially on the back end with a couple of veteran defensemen added in Dupre. And Wisniewski in the crowd reacting to a big hit put on by Dupre. That's an element he can bring. That's a, He's a big man, 6'3", he's about 215 pounds. He will bring that physical element. Wisniewski has a nasty edge to him as well, as long as the big shot. So it does change the way Anaheim looks on the back end for sure. Silverberg gets the center ice as he is met by Muzzin. Shore backhands it along. L.A. Kings again without Jared Stoll in their lineup. As Dustin Brown hands it off for Justin Williams, and a wrist shot is gobbled up here by Gibson. Well, we get our first look at Simone Dupre and what he can do stepping up in the offensive zone there. Good positioning there. He takes care of the puck, but he also takes care of the man. There's the turnover. Andre Kopitar, this is right off the opening faceoff, and Kessler tries to catch Jonathan Quick, maybe moving off that near side post, but Quick doesn't give him anything, and Kessler... This is a big chance. And right now, Bruce Boudreau gets Ryan Getzlaff out against Nick Shore for this faceoff in the duck zone, and Getzlaff controls it. And it's played back the other way. Maroon sends with it on quick. He pumps that out to the far side, and Shore didn't connect there with Dustin Brown. It comes back now for Ryan Getzlaff. Now back for Getzlaff on the give and go, right up the middle of the ice. Met by Shore, who gets a stick on it. The puck driven back in behind. Jonathan Quick, he'll settle it down there. Now Dowdy with it. Backhands it through the middle of the ice to the far side. Too far in front of Justin Williams. And as Wisniewski. And Bosheman out there. Wisniewski's going to go to the bench for a change. And a giveaway here by Bosheman as Jordan Nolan closing in. But the Ducks recovered well. And back the other way now comes Raquel as the puck rolls in on quick he decides to cover up Anaheim with the turnover Boschman tried to pass it towards his bench and there were a couple of guys making a line change there That's what created the issue and it gives Los Angeles Kings a very quick three on one But turns into a three on three quickly really good recovery there by the Ducks seeing that they're in big trouble Bruce Boudreaux Knows that this is a big matchup for his team. He also knows that one game doesn't mean a lot. He said, we don't want the L.A. Kings to make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah no <laughs> kidding. That one goes up over the glass. It was really funny the way he said it this morning. That was outstanding. That, yeah, we don't want L.A. to make the playoffs. No, because he was being asked about, well, if, if the playoffs started today, you'd end up playing against Daryl Sutter and the Los Angeles Kings. Well, you know, the playoffs don't start today. And he said, no, we don't want them to make it. Yeah. Everybody started chuckling, but... 
He said, we just want to make ourselves better. We want our points, and that's what this game is about. You, you know there's a lot of animosity here, and this game is played with a lot of tension. You can feel it down here. You know, the Ducks have dominated the uh, the freeway face-off series uh, going back to the beginning of last regular season. We all know what L.A. did, though, in the seven-game series last year, winning game seven in this building. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, Ryan Getzlaff said it the right way. I think it was yesterday he said it and said, one win doesn't get you anything in the playoffs. <laughs> now Braden McNabb plays it across. It's poked ahead and recovered by Defoli, who plays it deep into the Anaheim zone. Clifford is met there by Boschman. Now Toffoli sends it around. He's knocked down to the seat of his pants by Emerson Edom, number 16. And Bruce Boudreaux also talked about the fact these are close games, he said, since I've been here as a coach, and there's usually about 50 to 80 hits between the two teams. And we've seen some physical play already as Silverberg starts it back the other way. Into the Los Angeles zone, he hands it off, and Dupre with a shot that is blocked by Green. Ends up on the corner, Nate Thompson saw that it was sitting there. He's battling against Green on the far side. Now Thompson hands it off for Silverberg, trying to get it to the front. Carter on him. Now it comes back for Thompson. Silverberg tries to roll it along. Matt Green got to it, gave it away as Dupre stepped up and dumped it to the corner. Now picked up by Silverberg again. Sends it off the end board. Behind quick, it's picked up on the far side by Fowler, who had moved up. Now it comes across for Thompson. High slot with a shot. Hit one of his teammates, Silverberg, in front. And Carter gets to the loose puck. Taken away by Silverberg, but recovered quickly by Los Angeles and off the stick of King to center ice. Simone Dupre playing a lot with Cam Fowler. Matter of fact, ever since he came here to Anaheim, playing with him all the time, it's a lot different than when he played in Pittsburgh. He played with Rob Scuderi. Rob Scuderi, a very much a stay-at-home defenseman, and Fowler is up, up up the ice all the time, very much like Chris Letang. Icing will send the face-off back into the Anaheim zone as we take a look at the uh, season series. Anaheim has gotten at least a point, as you see, in all four of the games. Uh, one game decided in the overtime period, two others going to the shootout. Look at how close the goals for and against are. And they last met uh, February the 27th, a game that Anaheim won by two goals. And the final score of 4-2 with a face-off here controlled by Kessler against Kopitar. Now Dupre with it. Up the right wing side, Palmieri. He drops it back. Had some zip on that pass. Bowler left wing side now for Balecki who gets it around Andre Sakara. He was adjusting more and more with each game that he plays with Los Angeles. Talking to Daryl Sutter before the game about Andre Sakara. Wasn't easy for Sakara at the time that he came. It never e is easy, Brian, as no. you know. But he said we uh, brought him all the way across the country from Carolina to L.A. as this play is whistled down. He said then we went out on the road. And so Sakara really hasn't had a chance to kind of get his legs under him. Yeah, that, it, that's really tough. When you get traded during the season, it's tough anytime. Carolina, he was playing the left side pretty much all the time. He's playing the right side here. They need him to play the right side. Now, he's done it before, and he's making that adjustment. But on top of that, yeah, he was on the road the whole time. Then he has to come home in the first game or so that he plays in Los Angeles. Still feels like a road trip. He's got to get used to that building and make it home as quickly as he can. Lindholm at center ice. Couldn't make the play that he wanted. Kings get a stick on it, knock it back into the Anaheim zone. It's recovered here by Ryan Getzlaff. Pursued now by Shore, back behind the Anaheim goal. Now up the left wing side, Maroon with it. Maroon did not start the last game with Getzlaff and Perry, but the comeback win for Anaheim against Nashville. The Ducks made some changes in the third period that paid off with a four-goal third period. And Bruce Boudreaux saying, I'm going to stick with the lines at least to start with that finished so well yeah he had a couple of points in that game too a couple of assists after being uh, benched he was a healthy scratch the game before he was highly motivated so he's still on that top line and you know he wants to stay there now Williams for Los Angeles waits for an opening he tried to hit a line mate uh, Dustin Brown but it was broken up by the Ducks center ice and back the other way comes Corey Perry on the angle white right hat save boy that uh, that puck had eyes to be inside that far post, and Quick had to react quickly with that right pad. When you're a shooter like Corey Perry, you know exactly where to go. You might see a half an inch or an inch that might become just enough for you to sneak that puck in, but I think more than likely he was looking for a rebound that would come out in front of the net. The top line out there trying to generate anything they can. Watch, watch Perry coming in. 
He was trying to catch him maybe before he got down on the ice, but Jonathan Quick, who has been outstanding, is, will go eyeball to eyeball with uh, Corey Perry a lot in this game. Perry just one goal in his last seven. He was out of the lineup on two different occasions for a rather extended period. Five games, remember, he missed with the bumps and then ten games with a knee. And his number's down a little bit as a shot here by Green does not get through on Gibson as Perry will lift it back out through center ice. Skips away from Green. Picked up now by Thomas Fleischman who tried to make a play to the corner. Fleischman number 14 back in the lineup after being a, a healthy scratch against Nashville. He replaces Juris Seacash on this fourth line for Bruce Boudreaux who's very familiar with Fleischman. Coached him a few years back in the Capitals organization both in Hershey in the American Hockey League and with the Capitals. Oh, well, Matt Green was hunting for Fleischman along there. Fleischman just saw him at the last second. Green was coming along across like a Mack truck there and only got half of them. That play just offside uh, on the interchange between Silverberg and Thompson will step away from Anaheim. It is scoreless in the first. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Honda, official vehicle of the National Hockey League. By SAP, visit NHL.com slash stats with insights from SAP. And by Frost Brew Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. Watch Matt Green tracking across here on Fleischman. Fleischman sees him or feels him coming at the last second. Matt Green had him lined up. He was going to make him part of the boards there, but Fleischman just put the brakes on in time. The two fourth lines out here now for their respective teams. Andy Andreoff, number 15 for Los Angeles in the lineup because of the injury to Jared Stoll is centering this fourth line coming off his first career goal, the only goal in a 1-0 win against Arizona in the last game for Los Angeles. Oh, that Fowler shot just squeaked by the post. Quick never picked it up until it was right in front of him, just squeaked by. Now Raquel hands it off. Here is Edom with a shot that had eyes and was deflected wide as Fleischman got a stick on it. Now Raquel again plays it along the boards behind the L.A. goal. Picked up by Fleischman. Now Raquel again. Raquel tries to step out in front. Good poke check by Quick. And then it was sent across to the near boards. Dupre pulls it away from Clifford. The shot blocked in front of the L.A. net. Comes to Dupre again. He'll try it again. And a save made by Jonathan Quick. Now Sakara plays it ahead. Clifford is run into by Bolsheman as the puck rolls back behind John Gibson. Pretty good shift by the Raquel line there. Got some extended penetration there. Shots towards and that, that spin around shot by Raquel that just missed probably the best opportunity. Now the playoff side as we remind you to watch the NHL on NBC Live on your laptop, tablet, or smartphone with NBC Sports Live Extra. Download the app or go to NBC Sports slash Live Extra and watch the biggest events anywhere, anytime. Anaheim's been really streaky. They win seven of eight, then they lose three. Now they've won their last two games coming into this one, and they dearly want this one against L.A. Now it's picked up by Kopitar. Quick backhand shot and a glove save by Gibson. Boy, Kopitar didn't waste any time once that puck was on his stick on the backhand. That's always the secret, Dave. These guys who score on a regular basis, they let it go really quickly. Anaheim's got everybody in position, but the puck gets redirected to Kopitar. Kopitar is willing to skate into a crowd anytime because he's got those quick hands. He was right in between two sticks. Makes it more difficult for Gibson, the goaltender, to pick it up. He's still got the shot on that. It's well done by Kopitar. Just one goal in the last six for number 11 of the Los Angeles Kings. They'd like to get him going. As we mentioned, the LA's been in a little bit of a scoring funk of late. Eight times in their last 12 games, Los Angeles has scored two or fewer goals. What they've been able to do is go 3-4 in one of those eight games. Here is Kessler with a rising shot that goes up over top of the net. But uh, Daryl Sutter acknowledged to us a couple of hours ago that they do need to pick it up and get some scoring. Now Bolesky in on the four check against Regeer. Ryan Kessler and Kopitar. This has been the matchup, the first few shifts of this game here tonight. Corey Perry, the crowd reacting to each hit and each time a player goes down. As it comes across the neutral zone and Trevor Lewis, as he was going to the L.A. bench, reached out with a stick toward an Anaheim player. Well, he got a pretty good bump by Corey Perry. That's why he was reaching out with the stick. He didn't like it. He thought it was just going to be a line change. Perry was kind of hiding in amongst some other bodies and gave him a pretty good rap. Stoner plays it ahead center ice. Now it's off the... Stick of Getzlaff, and it rolls back deep into the L.A. zone. Kings get to it first. Green takes a hit from Getzlaff, but the puck 
is pushed ahead left wing side for Williams. Wisniewski steps up on him. Now Stoner with it. Now it comes off the wall, picked up by Muzzin. Looking to the front, the shot was blocked by Getzlaff. He backhands it now crisply to Wisniewski, who sends it across for Corey Perry. Perry rolls oh. it softly as he is hit hard by Braun, and then oh, Braun there we go. is taken down by Stoner. And now Regeer and Corey Perry have each other. Simone Dupre, Simone Dupre jumped in on Brown. There is nothing wrong with this hit by Brown. He just catches Corey Perry with his head down and dropped the shoulder right into him. Stoner turned around and saw it right away, so he jumped on Dustin Brown, and then Simone Dupre got in on the action. This is the kind of stuff that we really expected. These two teams do not like each other at all. It's going to happen over on the left side of your screen. That is just a good old-fashioned yep. hockey hit there. And then Stoner comes around. He'll get a penalty for that. He, I think he's already in the penalty box. Yes, he is. And Simone Dupre will end up as well. You don't see Corey Perry get tagged very often, but that is classic stuff. A, sh a shoulder by Brown right in between the shoulders on the chest of Corey Perry. There's where Stoner came in. And then... So Simone Dupre, we talked about his physical presence as well, too. He didn't throw it. Left side of your screen, boom. That is moving along and then, like, running into a lamppost. You're going one direction, and then all of a sudden, you're laying down. Some big hits already in this game. There's Clayton Stoner, who was the first guy to jump in. Well, an extended discussion at center ice between Eric Furlat, one of the two referees working along with Paul Dvorsky, talking to a couple of players from each side, including uh, the captain of the Ducks, Yeah, Simone Dupre was coming to his bench, and I'm thinking, really? You didn't get a penalty for that. But now he is headed over to the other side. That oh, makes and, a lot and, more and sense. And they're going to give one to Brown, too. I think the Ducks get a little bit of a break here. I thought we were looking yeah. at a five-on-three for a full two minutes. Yeah, good point. He was, he was jumped pretty quickly there. Dustin Brown was. A lot of times what will happen was when a player goes down heavily and you hear the crowd if you're clayton stone i don't even know if he actually saw the hit but you turn around and you see your guy go down so you instinctively jump on the other guy two minutes for roughing for the ducks number 24 simon Dupre, two minutes roughing and number three clayton stoner two minutes cross-checking Time of the penalty is 9.56. So the result of all this is uh, Los Angeles getting a five-on-four power play that is brought to you by Kia Motors. Yeah, that high sticking by Stoner for sure because he did get the stick up in the face of Brown right away. So Los Angeles with a man advantage. Kopitar drops to back. Recovery scores! Perfectly executed on the entry into the zone and Carter makes it one nothing Kings. Oh, the timing on this is absolutely perfect. Now, the shot will go off of Hampus Lindholm's stick, which makes it tougher for Gibson, the goaltender. The left side of your screen, look at Kopitar attacking with speed. He drops it right into the top of the circle. Hampus Lindholm does the right thing and tries to react to get a stick on it right here. I, I don't know if it actually touched it, but obviously Gibson couldn't pick it up. Perfect timing there through the neutral zone, and then that drop pass allows the shot to come from the top of the circle from Carter, who is their number one goal scorer this year. That's number 25 on the year. 25th for Carter, set up by Kopitar. And we've talked about L.A. struggling to score consistently. That does not apply to Jeff Carter. That is his seventh goal in the last eight games plus a half a period. So he's had it going. And the Kings make the Ducks pay for their response to the hit by Dustin Brown as Perry across the line now. Forced wide by Doughty. Able to backhand it out in front of Trevor Lewis, able to steer it with his glove to the corner. Now it's taken on the right wing side by Justin Williams, who hands it back for Regeer. Up the middle now for Clifford. He'll redirect it into the Anaheim zone. Kopitar and Doughty assisting on the goal by Carter. Now Green takes a hit from Cogliano. Carter moves it quickly up the far side and jumped over the stick of Dwight King. It's held in by the Ducks. They sent it to the front. Carter is there and able to get it back to Dwight King as that 70s line second edition is back together for Daryl Sutter. 
Now a giveaway here by Muzzin. Held in at the line, no. Kind of jumped on Fowler. He is being pressured by Toffoli. Boy, does this game have the feel of a playoff game. Oh, does it ever. You can just, you can smell it down here. It's, it's hanging in the air. It's great stuff. Now that animosity from the little scrap and the power play goals, it's going down. The tempo's really good, too. Now Fowler sends it into the L.A. zone. It's picked up. And Sakara will angle it off the boards. Taken by Marion Gabbert. Far side now for Jordan Nolan. He is met by Boschman. Now Kopitar goes in. He bounces off a check. Sends it out to the line. Sakara angles it quickly for Nolan. Nolan trying to spin away from Emerson Edom. Hands it off now for Kopitar. Will a shot that is handled by Gibson. And he will hold it there. One goal in the game, the leading goal scorer for the Kings on the power play, Carter's 25th. It is 1-0 L.A. Coach, we've seen some physical stuff, a little bit of nasty already. Other than the power play goal against, is this the way you want to play? Yeah, I think uh, other than the goal, I mean, we're down one nothing, but I think we're playing pretty well right now. So if we keep it up, I think we'll get our chances. Thank you. Okay. Physical to say the least, Brian, run a yeah. pace for about uh, 100 hits between the two teams the way they've gone in the first 12 minutes here. And he's the one who talked about it, but between the two teams every game, about 90 hits. And yeah, we're, we're going there. Plus, it's a little bit extra with the nasty stuff. And you got to be careful oh. with the power play. So nice redirection there. One hand on the stick and able to get it on goal was uh, Dustin Brown. Dustin Brown's had his problems, too. Scoring goals this year, that was a nasty redirection. Just barely saved by John Gibson on that near side. Brown's headed for a career low, or least lowest since his rookie year. Right. That one very nearly snuck in in the near side post. Does not have a goal in the last dozen for Los Angeles. Jammed up along the far boards. Kessler reaches back, hands it off to Lindholm. He'll go to his partner, Boschman. Antoine Boschman now Palmieri, and uh, Brown's stick got in there and deflected the puck out of play. Oh, down at the other end of the ice, that yeah. all the way. Mary Gabrick, I didn't even see no. that start happening. That was way down at the other end of the ice. Well, Bolesky and Brown are going at it on the outside of the scrum. This is well, well after the whistle. Never looked at it. Oh, it's Kessler coming by and just using his feet a little bit there. Just being a little cute with his feet. Gabbert didn't like it. He knew he did it on purpose. Slashes him back. Kessler gets in his face. One of the biggest differences, obviously, for, for Anaheim is how they line up at one, two center ice positions because of that guy. Kessler match up against the best of them in key situations. He can score. He's tough. He's one of the top hitters on the team. And he's got that little nasty edge. And looks like Anaheim wants to do that. That was no accident how he skated no. by Gabbert there. And Gabbert normally just... Shuffles that, shuffles that off, you know, doesn't pay attention to little things like that. But he certainly paid attention there. Interesting. Yeah, I like this. No penalty calls. They, they just yeah, separated everybody too. and just let's keep going. Little little warning, a little friendly warning yep. from the referee. referee. Gets lap angles and off the near boards and back into the L.A. end. Regeer quickly left wing side off the stick of Clifford. And Wisniewski back to get it. James Wisniewski, second tour of duty with the Anaheim Ducks. And he draws a penalty against Justin Williams. A delayed call here coming against the LA Kings. Gibson realizes now he'll head to the bench. Now Wisniewski has it. Makes a little pass to Corey Perry on the far side. Skated into the LA zone, intercepted by Lewis. Well, it started off as a good floor check by Justin Williams. He gets on Wisniewski, and then Wisniewski cuts back into him, plays it up pretty well. You can see Williams was kind of hung up on him there. Wisniewski, that's an intelligent move there, just a good experience move. Boy, this has been a physical game. We've seen some nastiness already, some big hits, some attempted big hits. Everything comes into play. That one I thought was going to be a train wreck, and Fleischman saw it at the last second, but along the wall, you get hit twice. You get hit once by the player and the second time by the boards. And there's the one tussle that we yeah. had, and we just finished the end, Kessler. And this power play for Anaheim is brought to you by Kia Motors. 
LA Kings with a 1-0 lead on their first power play. Let's see what the Ducks do with theirs as the jumps over the stick of Lindholm and he's forced to back up. Being pressured by Tyler Topoli. One of the top shorthanded scorers in the National Hockey League all season long. Topoli tied with Rick Nash and Brandon Sutter with four shorthanded goals on the season. He comes off right away and Dustin Brown goes out. Sutter sees that Brown's really engaged in this game. He's getting a lot of ice time already for L.A. Palmieri over skates and uh, Dustin Brown sends it back into the Anaheim zone. Gibson back to play it and he'll settle it down there. Just over six minutes remaining in the first three to minute. 20 remaining in the Justin Williams minor penalty. Kings with a 1-0 lead. Carter's 25th from Kopitar and Dowdy on the power play. As this dump in by Getzloff is picked up by Perry, sends it across the L.A. zone. Hustling up is Fowler. He tried to drop it back. It hit a stick. The Kings failed to clear. Here's Getzloff with it. Hands it off on the far side. Chance for Bolesky got through and quick the save. Wendy's RoboCam will show you this last opportunity for Anaheim to control the puck, get it back to the blue line. They'll move it into the upper slot area. That's some of the prime real estate. Bolesky's there, gets it, and turns around and shoots it on net. Net front presence, Corey Perry was there, but it was a clean look for Jonathan Quick, and he's going to get those 100% of the time. I like that prime real estate, Brian. In Southern California, <laughs> tough to get it, very expensive. Yeah, I, did, yeah, I don't have a number for you, but... <laughs> You gotta pay a price when you get in there. Yeah, too. Absolutely. Say that. And now Carter and Perry on this face off. Deep in the LA zone and Carter controls. It's wrapped around. There's an open point there, and that allows Trevor Lewis to dump it back further into the Anaheim zone. Well, LA's, LA's been killing penalties pretty well lately. Only one goal against in their last six games. Yeah, their opponents just one for 17 in the last half dozen. And Anaheim has struggled on their power play as King breaks it up, but it's recovered by Fowler. King right back, knocks it free. And coming over to help out is Ryan Getzlap. And Anaheim will go to work with just over 20 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Getzlap sends it far side. Taken toward the net and in the glove of Quick. He will hold it there as he thought about dropping it off after handling the shot from Matt Bolesky. Good hands there by Jonathan Quick. Bolesky was looking into the middle to see if he could make a play to, to uh, get slap. He took the shot, maybe looking for a, a redirection. Jonathan Quick has been really outstanding. As the season has gotten on, he's gotten better and better. 5-1-1 one, one in his last seven games with two shutouts. He's allowed two goals or fewer in 12 of his last 14 games. Lindholm, one-timer, Bosherman. That deflected one wide rebound. Quick is down. And the puck gets up back along the end board. Boy, Jonathan Quick had to move in a hurry to get over there and protect that post. Back the other way, shorthanded Carter for Kopitar. He turns. Now it comes back to the line just as Williams steps out to put the Kings at full strength. But the pass was behind Justin Williams. And Bosheman will play it back. Now chipped along. And Kopitar sends it on the far side. And Gabrick with it now. Scoops up into the Anaheim zone. Takes it wide on Wisniewski. And it hit the skate of one well, of the officials down there. And then Stoner went down. The Kings get it back. Here was Kopitar. Hands it off for Brown. Tried to go across for Muzzin. Intercepted by Silverberg. He starts it back the other way. And dumps it deep into the L.A. zone. Jakob Silverberg's really good defensively. That was his positioning, but he read the play, saw it coming, and cut that off. That was a dangerous play if that Brown pass gets to Muzzin. Now Gabrick pressured by Cogliano. Shore drops it back to Green up the far side and just safely dumped back into the Anaheim zone by Dustin Brown. Under four minutes remaining here on the first, Cogliano. Gets it ahead for Silverberg. Now angled off the boards. Thompson takes a hit there from Regeer. Thompson looking to the front, backhands it, and it bounces off a of quick to the corner. Dowdy for Nolan. And he clears it back into the Anaheim zone. Fowler back to get it. Being pursued by Shore. Now it comes to Simone Dupre. He will start it out of the Anaheim zone. Dupre to center right. Puts it up high on the glass. It bounces right back toward Quick. Picked up by Raquel. He turns. Looks towards the front. Center pass picked up here. Backhand. Saved by Quick. 
Well, what a chance there for Fleischman, I believe it was, coming yes. in. And now Fleischman again got a stick on it, but it's knocked away by Regeer. It looked like Quick just booted that one out of the air, and now we're going to get a penalty here against the Los Angeles Kings. Delayed call, and Gibson will get to the bench with under three remaining here on the first. Heck. Now gets left. Fowler plays it ahead. Little redirect now for Fleischman. And finally, the Kings get a stick on it. And we will step aside as Jonathan Quick keeps the Ducks off the board. But now he will face the Anaheim power play once again. The Ducks get a great chance from Thomas Fleischman. Quick does not make the save. Watch the puck will flip up on Fleischman right here. And he just plain shoots it right over the net. Then here's the penalty. Andreoff. I guess they thought it was a little bit late. The Kings bench was in stench. Yeah. That was an interference call. Daryl Sutter was losing his mind over that one. He thought it was a good hit, and there's been a lot of big hits in this game. Ducks over for one on the power play. They had three shots on quick on the first power play opportunity. As Perry tried to send it back to the point, it went behind Fowler, so he has to drop back. As it comes to Corey Perry, he enters the L.A. zone, hands it off on the far side. Now angle off the boards, gets left trying to get to it. Fowler is there, so is Bolesky, but the Kings able to clear. And Wisniewski acquired primarily to help this Anaheim power play. He's got a big shot, number 20 from the point. Here he is, high slot. He lets it go, and it was blocked to come back down to Fowler on the right side. Really smart play by Drew Doughty, who came right out at him, cut the angle down. Wisniewski took a little too long to shoot, and he lost his angle to the net. Now Kopitar will start it back. Wisniewski is the only right-handed defenseman in the lineup right now. Sammy Botton is not back in the lineup yet. He is also right-handed. He is also a power play guy. But Wisniewski has a big shot, and they're trying to get him involved in it and get used to how they run their power play. And Botton is getting close to returning as this puck is turned back by the penalty-killing Kings all the way back into the Anaheim zone. 45 seconds remaining in the Andreoff penalty. And just over a minute 20 remaining here in the first period. It's been a spirited first period of play, as you would expect between these two rivals. I'd go with angry. <laughs> Comes back with Lindholm. Hands it off now for Kessler with a shot right through and hit off the glass wide. Recovered by the Ducks. Spirit, it's too polite. That's too polite, you're right. <laughs> Here is Kessler now again looking toward the net. Drops it back for Boschman, far side. Lindholm tees it up, saved by Quick. Now it's wrapped around by Raquel to the point. Put back in over top of the L.A. goal. Recovered here by Kessler. Now for Palmieri. He turns and angles it off the far side. Chased down by Hampus Lindholm. He drops it back now, top of the circle. It comes to Kessler. Out of the box is Andreoff, and he got there in time to break it up. Kessler stays on it, though, and gets it loose for Palmieri. Behind the net, tries to backhand it. Rapper on the stop. Rebound chance. It's deflected to the near side where it's recovered now by Raquel. I think Quick got a glove on that quick one from in close too, Dave. And Andreoff hands it off now for Trevor Lewis, who starts it back. And Gibson will move it quickly for Ricard Raquel, who hands it off now for Simone Dupre. Now Doughty behind the net. Final seconds of this first period. These teams will hit right until they hear that final horn to end period one, and there it is. Well, some good action for the Ducks on their power play. Some good sustained action there, and they get a couple towards Jonathan Quick. Some of their best chances have come like this, coming off the end wall or coming from behind the net. That was Kyle Palme Palmieri. And see, this second one is the one that's even more dangerous. Well done by Palmieri, still on his knees. He got three whacks at that before the puck was finally cleared away. Terrific first period. Stay tuned for the Lexus Intermission Report. Liam, Mike, and Anson. We'll also have NHL insider Bob McKenzie with the latest on Henrik Lundqvist and his uh, anticipated return for the New York Rangers and Hollywood hits. Yes, physical play by the defending Stanley Cup champions. We saw a lot of this and we'll see a lot more of it before this one's done. Kings with a 1-0 lead after one. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Just For Men, Just You and the Look You Want by Lexus and their pursuit of perfection. And by the Discover It Card. It's a game changer.
And welcome back to the second half of our doubleheader Wednesday night rivalry presented by Coors Light. There's your goal scorer as Los Angeles leads one to nothing on the Jeff Carter power play goal line, Dave Strader. And as we mentioned throughout the first period, hitting, physical play, a big part of this, Brian Engblom. 30 hits in that first period, 17 for Los Angeles. It's exactly what we thought was going to happen, and a couple of veteran guys were right in the middle of it, mixing it up. Ryan Kessler did a heck of a job. He had some scoring chances in this game. Missed that one on the short side, but it's the hits and it's the in-your-face kind of style that he brings to the Ducks, along with Dustin Brown. I thought Dustin Brown did a really good first period, gigantic hit on Corey Perry that really stirred things up and got this game up on two wheels, and he almost scored on a brilliant redirection on the short side there so look for these two guys who love these kind of games I mean their blood is just getting up look at that calm demeanor right there but they're like two cats pacing back and forth can't wait to get back out there and hammer somebody again the shots favored Anaheim 11-6 as they had uh, two power plays to LA's one as Dowdy plays it around from his own zone and it's dumped back out through center ice Cam Fowler back to get it for the Ducks Dressed in all black, the Kings here in their white with the black pants and black trim. As it comes to Carter, knocked off his stick, sent back in on quick, and he is able to pull it in and cover it up. Let's take a look at the Coors Light cold hard backs. And the cold hard backs tonight about... Uh, Jonathan Quick and his uh, record this season. Look at the first 43 games. Look at that save percentage, 909. The last 17, that's more Jonathan Quick like. And talking to Daryl Sutter, while he does want his team to try to score a little bit more on a consistent basis, he said, You've got to be top 10 goals against if you're going to be a contending team. Something uh, they should know about is this puck out of play. They had the best goals against average in the season, in the uh, regular season last year, heading into the playoffs. What would they, they don't give up very many shots either. So you're going to go through stretches if you're Jonathan Quick where the his save percentage is going to hurt. He lets in a couple of goals even here or there, and your save percentage goes way downhill. But for Quick, he's like the great goaltenders in the past who won cups. For me, it's like Billy Smith and Grant Fuhr. It's just about the wins. He doesn't care about anything else. He's got two Stanley Cup rings to show for it, just like Billy Smith in one cup yeah. and Grant Fuhr in one cups. That's the way I look at his play. Olshevin steps up as he and uh, Brown came together. Lindholm plays it ahead, center ice. Now Palmieri sends it across as the Ducks regrouping inside their own zone. Ryan Kessler broken up by Kopitar, but Olshevin was right there. They get a stick on it, and the Kings quickly recover. Andre Sakara over to Braden McNabb. McNabb will get center ice and now sends it deep into the Anaheim zone. Brown is in there first for Los Angeles, trying to dump it out in front. It rolls in toward Gibson, and he covers up. The Premier League is on NBCSN Sunday morning at 8.30 Eastern as Liverpool takes on Manchester United. Weekend coverage begins Saturday morning at 8 Eastern as Man City hosts West Brom. The Premier League is on NBCSN. John Gibson playing his four straight games. He's got nine of his 10 season wins since his recall on February the 10th. It's been an up and down year for him. He couldn't get in the net early on because Anderson was winning so many games, six straight games. Then he got injured for a while. Then he was down in the American League for about a month and a half, and he got called up early in February, and he's been on a pretty good roll since then. It's going to be interesting to yes. see in the playoffs who the goalie's going to be for Anaheim. Remember, there was a bit of a goalie controversy in the series between these two teams. Last year yeah. was a shot here is handled by Gibson who comes out to the top of the blue paint. He'll stop that one. Yeah. Wendy's RoboCam is going to show you Robin Regeer, who's not known for a shot, but he can shoot it like anybody else. It comes right off the wall and right on a plate for him. It's perfect. He got a good piece of that one, and Gibson going down ended up catching that one on the shoulder. Yeah, Gibson came into the series between these two teams last year in Game 4 and pitched a shutout. Anderson got hurt in Game 3. Oh, yeah, there was so much stuff going on in this series last year, and the goaltending certainly was a big part of it in the Anaheim side. Yeah, it was Hiller that came in and replaced Anderson to finish Game 3, but then it was Gibson who was given the start in Game 4. And he started uh, the rest of the way and was pulled in Game 7 when L.A. got the 3-0 lead in this building as a shot here by Dupre does not get through. Picked up by Cogliano. That was knocked down to the face-off circle before it got to Quick. Now Silverberg lays it out to the point. Dupre right back to number 33. Moved it away before Carter could get there. 
Now set along by Muzzin on the far side. Dwight King trying to jam it out. And successful in getting it back into the Anaheim zone. Now gets left. Battling with Matt Green. Gets left, sent it out, but the uh, Ducks were changing. Didn't have anybody in position to get that pass. Goes all the way down, and Gibson leaves it there for Wisniewski. Long stretch pass intercepted by Doughty. He steps back into the Duck zone. Tried to hand it off for Williams. Just missed connecting there. Here comes Anaheim back the other way. Gets left, waits to the backhand. Rolls it out in front. The Kings in position. Stoner steps up to keep it alive for Anaheim. Now Williams able to clear it back the other way. And here's Kyle Clifford into the Anaheim zone. Takes it wide, looks to the front, and hits a stick and ends up back behind the Anaheim goal. Picked up by Clifford, skates it all the way out to the line for McNabb. McNabb with a shot. That's caught off by Gibson. Between the circles, it's Getzlaff getting it to Maroon. And Patrick Maroon from center ice will get it deep as McNabb finishes the hit on him. Getzlaff, Getzlaff may have blocked that one in the slot. Getzlaff has blocked more shots than any other forward in the National Hockey League. That's incredible. He, he's not afraid to do it. If I'm his coach, I, I'm not sure I want him to yeah, do it exactly. that much. They can ill afford to have anything happen to Getzlaff long term. Everybody's responsible to do it at times. But when you say he's blocking more shots than any other forward in the NHL, that's a whole other different level. Now Shore backhands it along. And Rayoff on the far side. Ducks get to it again. Now it's recovered by Sakara. He'll start it back for Los Angeles. Andre Sakara plays it ahead. Shore gets a stick on it, and Gibson will cover up as a couple of players come together. Los Angeles Kings with the shot from the point, trying to find the net. It does. Gibson. Seemed to pick it up a little bit late, knocked it down into the slot area. Here's the one-on-one -on -one by Getzlaff. The one thing you think about him is you wish he'd shoot the puck more. He's a right-hand shot. He was attacking on the left-hand side. It's easy to second-guess after the fact. He may have ended up turning that one into, you know, a great scoring chance. And you'd say, boy, what a great play. But here's the interference call by Lindholm on yeah. shore. And uh, L.A. will go back on their power play. And their power play has been, you know, decent over the last four games. They got one tonight, obviously. They were three for ten coming into this game. That's not bad for them. Now the play deep in the Anaheim zone. Fowler. And it knocked away. It comes out to the point for Dowdy across for Sakara. Sakara shot blocked by Kessler. Almost broke, broke away with it. And now finally Silverberg does get it. He starts it back. Overberg across the line, holds up, and now the puck rolls along in behind quick. Boy, was that close. Almost a good scoring chance on net for L.A., and it almost turned into a flat-out breakaway for Anaheim, except for Doughty making a good play. Kopitar regains control. Sends it out to the line, so Kara back for Kopitar, top of the circle. Fans on the shot, and it's recovered now by Andrew Cagliano, and he'll start it back the other way. Hands it off for Ryan Getzlaff, who... Uses that long reach of his to get it deep into the zone. Big hit by Cogliano on Sakara. And now the puck out to the high slot. Wisniewski picked it up and it's fired off a quick and just wide. Oh, wow. That puck was climbing right up and quick. And he's falling down. He still fights it off. That puck was alive. Capoli chases after a self-chip into the Anaheim zone. But Clayton Stoner gets there for the Ducks and sends it back down the ice. McNabb with it again. Up the middle for Justin Williams. Feeds it on the right side looking for Toffoli. Fowler steps in front of him. Played along the boards and Edom tries to clear. It'll be held in by Dustin Brown. High slot. Hands it off for Williams. Williams behind the Anaheim net. Boschman on him. Now the puck comes free and Edom has it again. This kid's got good wheels. He'll start it back the other way into the L.A. zone. Angles it to the corner and decides to turn to the bench for the change with just a dozen seconds remaining in the Lindholm minor. McNabb rolls it into the Anaheim zone. And that's why Boschman had it knocked away. Dwight King gets a stick out of behind the net. King trying to get it out in front. The puck got there, but the Ducks able to break it up. L.A. without a shot on goal on that power play is now Regeer. Battling with Silverberg. Kessler now behind the L.A. goal. Working against Shore. Nick Shore with a good job. Got a stick on it, but fails to clear the zone. Now it's sent to Wisniewski for a one-timer, misfired on that, off the heel of the stick, and the King's able to clear. 
Oh, the pass was so hard, so fast. That was a really difficult shot to one time. Wisniewski tried it anyway. Dowdy for Lewis. Lewis tries to send it far side. Good defensive play by Perry to prevent that pass from coming across. Now Shore will it again. Working against Ryan Getzlaff. One-handed by Lewis, but it didn't get through. Corey Perry able to hand it off to Wisniewski joining the rush. Sends it ahead now for Matt Molesky. Molesky able to avoid most of that Robin Regeer hit. Which is a good idea anytime. Yes. Lewis sends it across the Anaheim zone. Wisniewski is there. Drops it back. It's angled along by Lindholm for Getzlaff. He goes back far side. Wisniewski sends it ahead for Corey Perry. Matt Green steps up on him. Now Patrick Maroon gets a stick on it. Maroon picks it up on the corner. Muzzin. Separates him from the puck. And now Jordan Nolan trying to clear. Lindholm pinched down. Nolan sends it across to Muzzin. will escape the far side. And send it back into the Anaheim zone. Ings with just two shots in the period. Did not get one on that power play moments ago. Bozeman plays it back into the L.A. zone. It's gloved down by McNabb. Patrick Maroon able to force him back. And Anaheim completing a line change. The well, second period statistically have been horrible for Anaheim all season long. They score 67 goals. have given up 86. So very lopsided against them in the second period. But so far, they're having a strong second. Now McNabb. Challenge center ice by Edom. Comes to Brown. Edom steps into him. Now the puck is not free. Here comes Fleischman up the left wing side. Pulls up, waits for some reinforcements. Sakara with a good stick. And Kopitar back to get the puck. Now Dustin Brown drops it back. Kopitar following up. Takes it wide now on the Anaheim defense. Kopitar with Gabrick and Dustin Brown. Now here is Doughty. Pulls it back for the shot. Gets it the save. What a great shot by Doughty. Changed the angle completely. Drew it into his feet and got a look at the net. Now Brown pushed to the ice as the puck comes to the near side. Doughty gets it free out to Kopitar. Kopitar goes back to Doughty at the faceoff dot. Didn't see a shooting lane. Hangs onto it. Doughty backs up. Now he lets it go. Deflected wide penalty coming against the Ducks. Quick trying to get to the bench for the extra attacker. And he will, but now the puck is uh, taken away by Fowler. L.A. up 1-0 on a first period power play goal with the man advantage when we come back. The puck was almost alive at one point in this game. Watch Paul Mary knock it out of the air. It's bouncing. Cogliano gets a shot. It goes off the stick and the foot of Dowdy and just barely wide. Quick fights it off, and then here's the penalty. Simone Dupre gets called for high sticking, pretty much mauling Dustin Brown. When Dustin Brown is in the middle of all that stuff, you know things are going well for the Kings. He takes a beating. He's willing to do it. He is under more than a couple of guys' skin of the Anaheim Ducks right now. Well, he's drawn three minor penalties, two on one play. He took one in that situation in the first, but getting a lot more time on the top line now, as you mentioned, Brian, because he's so engaged tonight as the... Ducks controlled the draw, but then flipped it back into their bench, so this faceoff will come all the way back into the Anaheim end. Yeah, for Dustin Brown, it's certainly not all about goals and assists. He is a terrific leader. He has been up and down the lineup from first to fourth line. Sometimes he's left wing, sometimes he's right wing. He'll do whatever he has to. When you get a game like this that's fully engaged, it's borderline nasty, there's a lot of hitting, he knows exactly how to push buttons on the other guys, and he's doing it. Kings will the draw Dowdy. Backhands of far side Gabbert. Now Gabbert for Kopitar. Out for Dowdy. Sends it across the camera. Top of the circle with a shot. Saved made by Gibson. It bounces all the way to the far side. Gabbert has it again. Arian Gabbert off the boards now for Dowdy at the left point. Back for Gabbert. Top of the circle moves. In for a shot. It was knocked down. Backhanded in front. And Kopitar couldn't get a stick on it. Now Andre Sakara again. Fakes the pass. Fakes the shot. Now just hands it off to Kopitar. Now Kopitar, patient with it in the face-off circle. Sends it back to Sakara, right point. Far side for the one-timer that sails wide of the net off the stick of Doughty. Kind of shakes his stick, a little bit upset with himself. And now Silverberg takes it away and sends it in on Jonathan Quick, who gloves it down with a minute remaining in the Simone Dupre minor penalty as we've hit the halfway mark of period number two. One-nothing Los Angeles. Here's Williams. 
Sends it around on the far side to Foley. Keeps it away from Getzlaff, but now Wisniewski got a stick on it. Cogliano back for the Anaheim captain. Comes back to Cogliano, back to Getzlaff. On the backhand, he turns. Now sends it along on the far side. Cogliano trying to get free. Good. Work by number seven down low. Cogliano hands it off for Getzlaff, and it was blocked before it got to quick. That was a great opportunity shorthanded by the Ducks. Great work by number seven and number 15. Now Williams taken down. Dustin Brown gets to the loose puck. Under 20 seconds on the power play. Brown sends it off the far board, but it went between Brown and Muzzin all the way back. Into the L.A. zone. Now Shore across the line. Didn't get fire with it. He was challenged there by Fowler. And now it's back the other way for Emerson Edom. Edom trying to cut through. McNabb spun off of the puck. And now Lewis has to come back. Zakara hands it off for McNabb. And now it is attempted across for Lewis. Bounced off for Shore. And it comes back to Braden McNabb again inside the L.A. zone. Zakara center ice for Shore. Just missed by Corey Perry who stepped up. Going for the intercept. Now along well, the boards, the Ducks win a battle. As Raquel sends it across, and it finds its way to Perry. Trying to go wide on Green. Perry with a shot. And he missed it on the glove side. That's a couple of times now in prime scoring situations that the Ducks have tried to go short side on Jonathan Quick. Both of them have actually missed the net. Kessler in the first period. Corey Perry looked to have room on the far side there, but tried to go right up under the bar on the glove side, short side. Leighton Stoner plays it ahead. Kessler rolls it in. Quick jumped out to get the goal stick on it to try to settle it down. Now Regeer hands it off. Wisniewski moved in from the point, but the Kings did get it to center ice. And Stoner got out of the way of Jordan Nolan, who had him lined up. And Dowdy will it now. Plays it ahead. It bounces off of Nolan. He jams it into the Anaheim zone, but the Ducks regain. And Wisniewski slides it across. Bounces off the skate of Palmieri. He recovers. Hands it back to Wisniewski into the L.A. zone now for Kessler. Kessler with a shot just wide of Jonathan Quick. Palmieri jams it back to the corner. Regeer angles it off the boards now for Dowdy. Right wing side for Nolan. Jordan Nolan across center ice into the Anaheim zone. Takes it wide. Pokes it around. Fowler goes in after it. Collides there with Dupre. And Simone Dupre will come out with it. As he slides it across now for Kessler. Backhands it into the L.A. zone. Muzzin hands it off for Kopitar, drops it back now for Green. Angle off the boards, far side for Gabbert. He has to drop it back. Flipped ahead by Muzzin into the Anaheim zone, and the Ducks regain there. Here's Ryan Getzlaff going all the way back behind his own net with under seven minutes remaining. We've got quite a stretch here between whistles. A long stretch pass attempt here. Delayed offside as the Anaheim player was knocked down. The crowd here wanted to call. But it's going to be icing and a face-off all the way back into the Anaheim zone. Yeah, that, that was a set-up play. Getzlaff went behind the net and was going for the long alley -oop. Prior to that, watch Gabrick tried to go five-hole on Boschman. Good goaltending there for Boschman. And then the backward pass went right through the feet of Carter. And then at the other end, Getzlaff with a close-in chance. And he did have it on net. I wondered why that one missed. I couldn't tell. Dowdy's foot was turned just a little bit. And Getzlaff hit the skate of it and it ended up in the corner after some good work by Cogliano in the corner to get it to Ryan Getzlaff. Seven attempts at the net for Anaheim and missed just one for L.A. As the shots are 13-10 for the Ducks. Not a lot getting through. Back the other way, Fowler takes it wide. That trickles in on quick. He poked it free, almost sent back in front for a wide open Ryan Getzlaff, but it was Defoley that got a stick on it. Here's Perry. That didn't get very far. Now picked up in front of the net by the Kings and angled off the boards past Fowler and back into the Anaheim zone. Is Maroon behind the play, jousting with Doughty. That was a really good defensive play by Toffoli. Just having good stick position, knowing what could happen and taking that pass away. Otherwise, Getzlaff has a great chance. Here is Getzlaff with speed. The shot blocked up high on the glass, but still in play. Doughty gets to it. And Drew Doughty lifts it back with under six minutes remaining here in period number two. Slow, kind of dangerous pass across in the Anaheim zone, but the Ducks got to it first as Lindholm plays it ahead. Now Silverberg, angled to the board by McNabb. Shore with it. 
knew he was going to take a hit there from Nate Thompson. Now Cogliano finishes a hit on the far side against Kyle Clifford. And the Ducks send it right back into the L.A. zone. McNabb able to find Doughty, who sends it up the left wing side. Clifford wanted to go to Shore, but Bolshevik with a nice step up in the neutral zone. Now Shore to center ice, hands it off for Williams. Back for Shore, number 37, and that would have been wide, but it's into the glove of Gibson. And when we come back, we will hear from Daryl Sutter, the head coach of the Kings, who lead 1-0. Up 1-0 on a power play goal. What do you see that you like from your team, and what would you like to see more of? Obviously, we like to get more shots. We're halfway through the game. Over halfway, the 11 shots in a row. Other than that, we're playing fine. The physical part of the game, your team played better when it's like that. You know what, we're coming off a long stretch of games here. They're pressed in, so we see a little bit of difference. We need to use four lines, so we've got to be careful with our positioning and not going out of our way to finish checks. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Not go out of our way to finish checks. That's the discipline part. That's the hardest part, especially in these games, Brian. These players on both teams, when they see a chance to finish a yeah. check, yeah. they want to do it so badly. But as uh, Darrell and all coaches will point out, don't put yourself out of position. Oh, don't kid yourself. In a game like this, they want to punish each other, not just finish checks. Yeah. You get a chance. You can see it in their eyes. You can see the way the hits are, and that takes an awful lot out of you. And it's not always when you're getting hit. You spend a lot of energy sometimes going after somebody, so that's a little bit what Daryl's talking about, too. Now Williams plays it ahead into the Anaheim zone. Gibson puts the goal stick down to stop the foot. Ooh, stick handling was Wisniewski right out in front of his own net, but got away with it. As uh, Edom plays it back deep into the L.A. zone, gets there first to play it along. Sakara got a stick on it. Recovered by the Ducks in front for a chance. It's panned on by Raquel. That was airborne. He had one chance at it, yep. swing and a miss. Now Lindholm takes a big hit from Jordan Nolan. Raquel over to help his defenseman out. Now it goes to Bosheman. Nice crisp pass up the middle for Edom. On the left wing side now for Fleischman, who can do nothing more than deflect it into the L.A. zone. Not a lot of room out here for either team to make plays right now. This is like a heavyweight fight. There's flurries of action. It's really intense, and then it just subsides a little bit. Incredible amount of respect by both teams. Well, as you described it, Brian, one chance for Raquel. It was a swing and a miss. It stays 1-0. Get the only hockey app with free game highlights and audio plus live out of market games. Download the official app of the NHL. You know, Bruce Boudreaux talking to us this morning about how evenly split the crowd is here. That's about as evenly split as you can get. With... <laughs> we take a look at uh, some, some duos here, each showing their colors of the team that they're cheering for. It's a very heated rivalry in both buildings. The fans don't like each other. Lindholm under pressure, able to make the play out the far side. Except maybe that couple. Yeah, exactly. Molesky tried to get it through. It came back to him. He rolled it to the front. And good positioning there. The Kings able to clear it back out to center ice. Picked up by Dustin Brown. Into the zone with Gabrick. He sends it across. And number 12 has it now for Los Angeles. Back behind the Anaheim net. He looks to the front, hands it off for Sakara. Now Sakara trying to spin away from Molesky. Good work here by number 7. Sends it back out, high slot, McNabb, far side for the one-timer, and Gibson was across and made the save on Brown. Oh, this is a terrific read by Gibson. This is what gives him the save. It's really well done here by Sakara to get the puck to the point and the quick pass from Donovan, uh, from uh, McNabb, Braden McNabb across to Brown. Brown gets the trigger, pulls it right away, and Gibson sliding across gets that arm. If he doesn't see the, the play coming quickly enough, doesn't realize that Brown is there ahead of time, there's no way that he makes that save. And a good, quick puck movement by the two defensemen of Los Angeles to give Brown that chance. Gibson, the 21-year-old native of Pittsburgh, who played a couple of years in the United States National Team Development Program and then went on to play a couple of years in the OHL with Kitchener. Silverberg wins the faceoff as he steps into the circle. Now it's sent along on the near side. Cogliano with Doughty pinching down on him. They jam up along the boards. Cogliano protecting it with the skates. As you see there, the battle with Dwight King involved, along with Doughty waiting on the perimeter. So is Toffoli. And Doughty 
Hands it off to Regeer, straight away for Carter. Toward the net, redirected right out on a save by Gibson. Back it comes to Dowdy again. Makes a little move, goes wide on Cogliano, who doesn't have a stick. Now King with it, goes back to Dowdy. He is being pressured by Nate Thompson, who stepped up. Now intercepted by the Anaheim defense and sent around and all the way back into the L.A. zone. L.A. was really trying to work Cogliano, the smart thing, because he had lost the stick into the corner. And so Dowdy worked him for a while. They two on one over on that side. And then turnover by King could have been better as uh, Anaheim was able to get the puck down the ice and Cogliano gets a stick and a line change. Now Stoner with it. Left wing side. Perry dropped it back. Wisniewski has to go back after it, being pressured by Justin Williams. Up the middle for Patrick Maroon, and Maroon starts it back the other way. Puts it deep into the L.A. zone as we approach two minutes remaining here in the second period. Now Shore hands it off for Kyle Clifford, avoided the hip check attempt there by Corey Perry. A chance in front for Shore, and he fanned on it. Set across by Williams, and here is Justin Williams now. Hands it back for Green. Green, and that was steered aside by Gibson. Caught him up high. Perry's pass intercepted. It comes out to Muzzin with a shot that changes direction off the end board. Now Wisniewski goes down. Both officials with their hands in the air. And that's going to be an offensive zone penalty against Los Angeles. I think inadvertent. Now the part of Clifford as he was in on the four check. I believe it was the stick of Clifford. We'll see. He's the last one getting up in the pile. I was kind of blocked out here. I didn't get a good look at it. The play will come to the near side boards. Oh, it's short. Nope. Yeah, it is short. Just chopping away at it there. It takes the feet out from underneath. Watching the neutral zone here. Corey Perry goes for a big hit, and he misses. And because of that, it's an outnumbered attack for Los Angeles. The Ducks kind of held up for a second. So did Corey Perry. He held up right at the edge of the boards and didn't finish the check. There's a look at Nick Shore doing his penance for that tripping call. Darrell Sutter checks the clock. A minute 38 remaining in the second. And the third power play for Anaheim. They are 0 for 2. But they win the draw to start this man advantage. Top of the circle. Palmieri with a shot. And quick just positioning. Got a piece of that. Lindholm pressured by Dustin Brown. Now Lindholm will chase it down and keep it in the zone. Hands it off on the far side. Gets it back. Quickly redirects for Calvert. In the circles. A shot is blocked up high. Over top of the net. Great stick by Regeer. Now here's Palmieri stepping out. Save made. And then standing on the... Rebound with Bolshevik. Another chance is stopped here by Quick as Palmieri was in leaning on him. And the whistle goes as the puck trickles wide of the L.A. net. Yeah, dangerous plays here for Anaheim. Good puck movement there. Net front presence. All the things that you want. A swing and a miss by Bolshevik on an airborne puck. Very nearly ended up in the back of the net. From the back of the net, out to the front, really tough saves for goaltenders. That was Paul Mary with that chance. Here's the shot from the point. There's that net front presence. Well done by Jonathan Quick. There's that swing and a miss there by Boschman on the rebound off of Jonathan Quick. But Quick had cat-like quickness there and out on the edge of the paint there, too. It's hard to get a good look at the net. Carter wins the draw, but the Ducks recover now with Boschman challenged by Carter. And it's poked to center right by Los Angeles. Comes right back into the L.A. zone. Zakara angles it off the boards. And now McNabb has an opening and flips it all the way down the ice. With less than a minute remaining here with the second. Nick Shore is in the box. Anaheim is on the power play. L.A. with a 1-0 lead. Now the first period power play goal by Jeff Carter. Across the line now. Here is Perry. Separated from the puck. King comes up with it. He is double teamed. Now Braden McNabb angles it off the glass and he gets it by Ryan Getzlaff who has to hustle back along with Fowler. Now Getzlaff. Under 20 seconds remaining in the period. Perry bouncing puck into the glove but Quick he holds it there and Perry with a little bit of contact there with the LA goaltender and that's going to draw the reaction you saw from Robin Regeer, and they quickly separate. Yeah, it was a bit of a stumble there for Perry, who was putting the brakes on just as he came to the net. And he caught his toe there. I don't know if he caught the back of the skate of Regeer. And Perry didn't like it. He knew he was going to have company in there in a moment. Plus, the stick was up in his face. So Perry gives a little shot to the arm. Robin Regeer was all ready for that. Had him the bear hug, and so it goes. 12.3 seconds remaining here in the second period. Face off in the L.A. zone. 
Nate Thompson, number 44, steps in for Anaheim against Andre Kopitar, number 11 for the Kings. They tie each other up, and then it's recovered off the end boards by Fowler. Sends it back to the line quickly to the net. Didn't get all the way through. And Kopitar with it now knows he's got to just eat it along the boards with time winding down, and that'll do it for the second period of play. Stay tuned for the Discover Card intermission report with Lee McHugh, Mike Milbury, and Anson Carter. They'll talk about the uh, Kings' unselfish star in Andre Kopitar and Darling of the Day on Broadway. Scott Darling of the Blackhawks getting the nod in the opening game of our Wednesday night rivalry doubleheader and pitching the shutout at Madison Square Garden. So far, Quick is pitching a shutout here. It is 1-0 L.A. at the end of 40. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Just for Men, Mustache and Beard. Just you and the look you want. And by M&M's. Can't resist them. Back at Honda Center. Beautiful evening here in Southern California. Still time remaining on the minor penalty to LA's Nick Shore that was called late in period number two. Uh, don't think the trailing after two it's going to bother the Anaheim Ducks, a league best winning percentage. They did it last game against Nashville. They were down 2 nothing in that game and came back and dominated the third and scored four times to defeat the Predators. Oh, Drew Doughty just took a run at Fowler. I'm not sure that Doughty didn't hurt himself more than Fowler, although Fowler was looking at his leg for a second. Just charged at him. And here's Fowler getting it off the boards and then getting it back for a shot right through that was deflected before it got the quick. Picked up now by Getzlaff. Ryan gets left with it. Penalty expires as Shore comes out at the side of the net now. It is knocked away by the Ducks Maroon, and he has it along the end board. Now back to the line. Teed up for a shot that changes direction wide. And hit, back out to the front by Maroon. That hit Shore in the foot. It was headed for the inside corner. Straight away, an opportunity here sent to the side of the net for Getzlaff. He rolls it in front, they score! sets this up with a couple of big shots from the point from Wisniewski, exactly what they wanted from him. The big shot, the puck will come around down low and then back up high again. And then watch number 19, will get open off to the side, left side of your net. There's the fake shot by Wisniewski and then the great hands of Getzlaff, who puts on a couple of moves and allows more room for Maroon. Right here, Getzlaff, forehand, backhand, right on the tape, and there's nothing Jonathan Quick could do to get over quickly enough. Well executed there on the power play by Anaheim. Well, you mentioned Patrick Maroon was a healthy scratch in Minnesota a couple of games ago, a game that the Ducks won 2-1. to one. But he came back with a couple of assists against Nashville and gets a big hole, goal here against the Kings to tie this game early in the third. James Wisniewski had a lot to do with that, though, Dave. I mean, he had some good looks at the net, and you could see that L.A. was nervous about that next shot coming from Wisniewski. When he faked it and got it to Getzlaff, it gave Getzlaff more time, and then Getzlaff moved, gave Maroon time to get open, and that was all she wrote. Face off of the L.A. zone. Jammed up along the board. Silverberg comes out with it. Working against Carter. 1-1 one, one is our score. Now top of the circle, stick handling into position. Silverberg, oh, what a stop there by Quick. As Silverberg tried to go back against the great Boschman steps up on Dwight King as the puck rolls back into the Anaheim zone. Keep in mind that L.A. needs at least a point in this game to stay above the playoff line. They are ahead of Calgary right now only because they have played one less game. They are playing that game in hand right here. Calgary owns the tiebreaker if Calgary and L.A. are even in points. Around the boards, it is Regeer handing it off for Williams. Shot blocked, and the Ducks recover when it comes to Bolesky. Who had it in his feet, and Trevor Lewis drops it back for Doughty. And a move it away from Paul Mary. Now Lewis back to get it for Los Angeles. Pushes it ahead for Kyle Clifford on the left wing side. Lost an edge, but made the play. Now far side for Doughty. Coming up on Fowler. Clifford over to help out now, but the Ducks maintain control, and it comes to the near side. 
Drew Doughty seems to be in a fouler mood in this uh, third period. <laughs> Took a run at him there, and he wanted a piece of him there again in the corner, even though he was on offense. Now Justin Williams gets it free for Clifford. It comes out to the line, sent to the net, and Gibson has it. And he will hold it there as Lewis and Dupre exchanging a few pleasantries. I think they'll be careful in this third period. Watch Jakob Silverberg go through the new, the middle of the ice here. Watch the hands on him, number 33. How smooth he is. He sees a little bit of an opening here. Look at that. Stick handling through traffic. Got some momentum. Got a really good look at the net and forced Jonathan Quick to make a really good save. This is a really talented young man who doesn't really know yet how good he can be offensively, according to his coach. The 11 goals are a new high for him. But Bruce Boudreaux thinks he has so much more, though. He said he takes too long to shoot the puck. Yeah. He says he has to dust it off a couple of times before <laughs> he shoots it. That's an old-time expression. I got a kick out of that one. Former 39th overall pick back in the 09 draft for the Ottawa Senators. Of course, came to Anaheim in the Bobby Ryan deal. This puck held in along the boards by the Ducks, Raquel, and Edom. Here's Emerson. Edom pulls it out for a shot that was blocked. By Green, Wisniewski holding it in, slapped at by Fleischman. Now Raquel with it, working against Nick Shore. Raquel, strong on his stick. Around to the far side for Wisniewski. James Wisniewski hands it offside of the net. Quick, able to make the stop, but Anaheim with good pressure here again. Centering pass is blocked. Muzzin clears it up the near side, and Jordan Nolan sends it back the other way. Wisniewski back to get it, moves it away. From Andreoff, and now here come the Ducks to center ice. Off the stick of Clayton Stoner, recovered now by Kopitar. Ends up behind Gibson around on the far side. Maroon let it go. And it comes out to center ice, picked up by Corey Perry. Perry into the L.A. zone. Knocked away by McNabb, who sticks it along, but Maroon waiting over there. Hands it off to Perry, or rather to Getzlaff. He'll turn. Dustin Brown in the corner has it. And he'll start it back the other way. Nice outlet pass here for Kopitar. Kopitar across the line with a shot. Save. Rebound opportunity. No, it's picked up by Lindholm. Gibson had no idea where that rebound was. He was still looking down to his right, and Kopitar couldn't quite get it out of his feet. Now it comes to Corey Perry. Top of the circle. Toward the net. Redirected by Getzlaff. Just wide out the far side. Now Kopitar will send it deep into the Anaheim zone. Gibson lets it go on the far side. Maroon with it. A chant of beat L.A. Resonating throughout Honda Center. There's Toffoli. Trying to find Dwight King just out of his reach. Now Dupre plays it out to center ice. Picked up by Cogliano. He'll get it into the L.A. zone, but not very deep. It was blocked, and Dwight King had it knocked off the stick by Silverberg, who came back. They made a nice defensive play, and now offside at the L.A. line. Mike Milbury had a lot of nice things to say about Andre Kopitar in between periods, and why wouldn't you? The guy is a terrific hockey player. Watch this one develop. He is so good in traffic. The guys talked about how easy he makes it look. He had a really good shot, and you see how Gibson made the shot and went, where is it? Kopitar had the rebound come out to him, and he just couldn't quite find the handle on his backhand as it went into his feet. He's a new father, by the way, too. Yes. The baby last Saturday. Congratulations to the Kopitar family. And you see, he's a point-of-game guy when these two teams get together. Baby's name is Neza, I believe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Now back for Muzzin, and he hands it off for Green. Green plays it ahead, and Williams directs it deep into the duck zone. Gibson settles it down to pray. Now the Ducks played around on the near side. Raquel couldn't control it. Muzzin with a shot that was blocked by Emerson Edom. Another player in this game out of the United States National Team Development Program. Played there for a year. Back the other way, a shot here. Up high, and Quick made the save. Here's Edom with a shot, and another save by Quick. And just a way of start to back down Matt Green, the defenseman up on the rush. Off the stick of Williams, and Fleischman throws it across center ice. And it's picked up by Brayden McNabb. And Trevor Lewis didn't get it as deep as he wanted to. Wisniewski has it now for Anaheim. One, one is our score. That was a fabulous save by Quick on that Fleischman shot. Fleischman just ripped that one. Now picked up and 
Redirected on the far side for Sakara. Hands it off, and Nolan looked like he took a stick in the arm, but got the puck in deep. Now Stoner around on the far side, Maroon. Pressured there by Sakara. Moved along for Wisniewski, right wing side for Perry, and he's able to clear it. And Grayoff will chase it back down. Will this be icing? Yes, icing against the Ducks. Take a look at the player profile with insights from SAP as we look at primary assist leaders in the National Hockey League. That's the pass that leads directly to the goal. And Ryan Getzlaff at the top of the list. And he has another one of those tonight on the goal by Maroon. You see Daniel Sedin, Tyler Johnson having a terrific year with Tampa. Yeah, Corey Perry is sitting right in front of me here, and you can see it. His arm was hurting. He made that play along the boards. I think he might have got a slash as he shot it off the boards, and it ended up icing. He came right to the bench right away. Wisniewski played it ahead, and uh, Getzlaff did not get a stick on that. Going to be another icing call, and the faceoff back into the uh, deck zone as Patrick Maroon was yeah. over in front of the wrong bench. Well, you know, he would just near the bench, and when it, one of the player's sticks, I'm not sure if it was Andreoff or Nolan, the blade of the stick just touched him on the back. Accidentally? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Kind of, sort of. So he turned around and had a few words for them, and the referees came over and just moved Maroon. Move along here. Move along. For gear for Gabrick. A shot easily seen and stopped by Gibson. Now on the cycle, Kopitar and Brown. Here's Kopitar with it. Gabrick going to the front of the net. Wisniewski trying to keep Kopitar to the outside. Now Kopitar straight away for Regeer. Deflected to the near board, picked up by Dowdy to the net. Gibson saw that one all the way. Now Wisniewski gets to it, backhands it up the far side, and it bounces back into the L.A. zone. Kopitar with another great shift in the offensive zone. Protects the puck, holds on to it. He is just a horse. He can play so many minutes in traffic. Gibson, well, he wanted to play that puck, but he missed it. Swept back in by Toffoli and a save by the Anaheim goaltender. Now Carter trying to get to it, and he does. Jeff Carter out to the line. Green tees it up for a shot. Change direction just wide. Now it's another opportunity for the faceoff dot for Carter that was stopped by Gibson. And Palmieri sends it out to center ice. And it's jammed right back into the Anaheim zone. Boy, really good shift there for the Carter line. Now Lindholm backhands it. Ahead for Silverberg. He drops it off. Cogliano with shots. And rebound score! Silverberg! Jonathan Quick is hot. He hops right out of the net, goes right to the referee. I think they're going to confer on this one. Quick just shoots the puck down the ice. He's so upset. The puck in the net ends up off its scoring to Jonathan Quick just pushed it back. I think he felt like he got interfered with on the rush here. Anaheim does a terrific job. And his Silverberg's timing is going to be perfect. But look at Quick come up right away. Yes. He wants a piece of somebody right off the bat. Silverberg starts to play. Beautiful little curl and drag there. And then there's the, the action in the crease area that I think Jonathan Quick was upset about. Well, if we have the coach's challenge, you think Daryl Sutter might use it there? Yeah, good point. You know what? It was, it was action between two players in the crease area, which ended up making contact with Quick just enough so he couldn't recover and push off and get over to that puck. That's why he was upset. But I think it would fall both players, one King and one Anaheim player. The Doc of Silverberg with his 12th of the year for Cogliano and Hampus Lindholm. And just as they did in their last game against Nashville, we showed you as this puck got a play, Anaheim is capable of doing. Even when they trail at the end of the second period, they keep coming at you. And Jonathan Quick has been beat twice in the third. He's not happy about that last one, to be sure. Two to one Anaheim. Eight minutes gone here in the third. Here's what Jonathan Quick is upset about. Nate Thompson is going to come into the paint area. He and Muzzin are jockeying for a rebound there, and that's where Quick felt like he was interfered with a little bit. The way I look at it, though, it looked like a hockey play to me. I think it's a good non-call. The rebound comes out. Thompson is going there. There's contact with him and Muzzin. They do touch Quick, but to me, that's just a play in the crease. Whistled down for an icing and a face-off back into the uh, L.A. zone. And, Brian, this is what you were talking about yeah. with Anaheim and their, their differential. Just uh, 
horrific for whatever reason in the second period. Yeah. Look at their third period, plus 23. I know it's, it's incredible. I mean, they have really, really poor second periods. And the good news was here, they didn't give up anything. It was one nothing in the first, no scoring in the second, and they've come on gangbusters according to statistics here in this third. Now Perry sends it far side for Getzlaff. Maroon hands it off for Perry on the corner. Back for Patrick Maroon, who started the scoring for Anaheim here in the third. Drops it back for Getzlaff. Getzlaff goes down with Lewis right there. And the crowd here wanted a penalty on Trevor Lewis, but nothing coming. Out to the line. It is swept back in behind quick. Now the board's on the near side. Clifford is tied up. Justin Williams able to poke it ahead, and here comes Lewis. One-on-one -on -one against Stoner, takes it wide, gets the shot away, save made by Gibson of the puck. Went off a Anaheim player and right back wide. That was Getzlap back-checking, and he kicked it into the corner, soccer style. Great reaction there by Getzlap. Look how that puck got deflected up into the Anaheim bench and out of play. Ryan Getzlap in the offensive zone. Watch Jonathan Quick with a slick little stick. That wasn't a stumble there. That's a swipe. They got away with one there. There absolutely should have been a... A, a penalty there on Jonathan Quick. Jonathan Quick just wants a piece of somebody. He's angry about that last goal. He really thinks he was interfered with. And yep. He got away with a two-minuter right there. Yeah, Ryan Getzloff just coming back. Uh, I'm going to cover the microphone here for a second because he's got a few words for the referees for <laughs> the penalty that wasn't called that we just showed you. Now the Ducks have won 60% of the face-offs in this game. That's an area that they've... Uh, Dominated here against Los Angeles as we approach the halfway mark of the third period. Kopitar had it slapped away, and it'll be chased back down now by McNabb. Now for Gabbert. Hands it off for Andre Sakara. Ahead for Kopitar, who reaches out to deflect this puck deep into the Anaheim zone. Bolshevik plays it around Koleski. Right wing side. Now Muzzin came up to challenge Kessler. They jam up just inside the Anaheim zone. Now the puck comes free, and the Ducks have it. Palmieri backhands it deep into the L.A. zone. Now Muzzin for Green. Right wing side is lifted ahead by Toffoli. Exactly 10 minutes remaining here in the third. Out to Muzzin. Muzzin throws it across. Green through traffic, and that deflected off the end boards and off the back of the net. Now backhanded by the Ducks, and out to center ice. Here comes Cogliano with some speed. Knocked away, but picked up by Thompson. His shot was blocked, and Dwight King turns it back the other way. Wants to go to Toffoli, but he was stood up by Simone Dupre. And as it comes to Silverberg, whose goal is the difference in the game right now. Dowdy hands it off for King. Sends it in wide off the end boards, and now Clayton Stoner with it for the Ducks just sweeps it out to center ice. Dowdy for Regeer. Out to center ice. Andreoff trying to get to it. Two and a half players in control. Now it's taken away by Shore. Pushes it ahead for Nolan. Comes in on Gibson, and he covers up. We will step aside. 9.05 remaining in the third. Ducks with a 2-1 lead. Lots of meaningful games coming up tomorrow. NHL Network has Detroit and Florida at 7.30. And then the NHL Game of the Week on NBC at noon on Sunday. St. Louis and Detroit. And then later on, these Anaheim Ducks on an East Coast swing take on the New York Rangers at Madison Square Garden on NBC SN. If you take a look at John Gibson and his record in the month of March. The Rangers hosted Chicago tonight, Anaheim on Sunday, and then these LA Kings in a rematch of the Stanley Cup Final on NBCSN Tuesday night. So, talking about the Rangers kind of running the gauntlet of some of the best in the West. Now it comes to Regeer. Angles it off the boards. Andreoff now for sure. Drops it back for number 15. Andreoff on the angle, and it is gobbled up here by Gibson. A little more pushing and shoving, and the usual stuff. But teams are going to be careful here. You, you can't afford to take a dumb penalty in a two-to-one hockey game. 
a little bit of an extra shot. There. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got a free one in there on Gibson, and that's why Nolan uh, got pulled out of there a little bit. Just a, everybody trying to get a little bit of an advantage. And now Drew Doughty's getting into it too. He was in there yakking pretty good with a couple of players, and he gets pushed out of there by Gesslaff. I mean, it goes on at all levels in this game. That's why you love this stuff. Doughty loves that. He's always got that sort of half smile on his face. He had about 19 minutes through the first two periods, another day at the office for him, and he'll be pushing 30 minutes again. If Doughty gets to 30 minutes, it'll be the 30th time this year that he's played 30 minutes. And Dave, I was looking at his numbers too. Probably another eight or nine games where he was within half a shift yeah. of being 30 minutes again. He d he knows how to play it. He he handles he handles it well. He's played physical in this game too, but he's really hard to hit because the puck's already gone by the time you get to him most of the time on the forecheck. Here is Doughty right on cue. Turns away from Palmieri and now regroups and brings it to center ice. Hands it off for Kopitar. Now for Marion Gabbard who sends it deep. Dustin Brown is there. The L.A. captain. Turns away from Lindholm one way. Has it on the forehand. Drops it off now for Dowdy, who came over to help out. Dowdy with a shot, gets in the save, gave up a rebound, but it was Lindholm able to clear it out to center ice. The ground tied up Silverberg, and Kessler over skates. Marion Gabbert back to get it. Boy, two great stick plays there in the neutral zone. That was Brown being really strong on his stick, and then Kopitar with the lift of the stick, and they turned the puck over. Williams lifts it back into the Anaheim zone. Fowler had it roll off his stick. It's picked up here now by Trevor Lewis. Straight away for a shot that hit a skate in front. I think it was Dupre that yeah. made the block. Now angled off the end boards, but recovered by the Ducks Fowler, who finds Silverberg center ice. He drives it behind quick up the far side. Taken now by Sakara. Rolls it across now, and Clifford with it. Lifts it back into the Anaheim zone. Knocked down by Stoner. Now Williams hands it off. A chance here for Muzzin. It was knocked down. Loose puck recovered by Getzlaff. He starts it back. Three Anaheim Ducks hit the offensive blue line. Getzlaff to the front of the net just a little too far. As Wisniewski follows up. Boy, that was a really good forecheck by Williams. He put it in a prime spot for Muzzin. Muzzin faked it. I'd like to see that one again and see what he saw. I thought he was going to hammer that one-timer, and he didn't. Now Carter across the line with King and Toffoli. Jammed off of his stick and it ends up over the glass into the netting and out of play. Watch Williams on the forecheck here. He'll do a real good job in the, in the corner. And he'll throw it out in the slot. There's the one-timer. Oh, that's why he didn't. There's a great look at that guy. He had a sense of the Anaheim player. I'm not quite sure which one came out, but... It looked like the big one-timing bomb was going to come from Muzzin, but he felt like it wasn't going to make its way through, so he held on and then tried to change it up and get it to the front of the net. Great look there. The Carter and Thompson on those face-off deep in the Anaheim zone with 6.25 remaining in regulation. Ducks with a 2-1 lead over the Kings. Ducks trying to break the tie in points with St. Louis for the top spot in the West. As here is King. Turning, hands it off, angle off the board now with gear with a shot, and that is in the glove of Gibson, and he will hold it. Well, we were just talking about Anaheim and St. Louis. How about the, the race for the President's Trophy? You got the Rangers, Blues, Canadians, and Ducks, all with 95 points, all 11, 12, 13 games remaining, and the Predators, Lightning. The Blackhawks and the Islanders who have stumbled a bit of late, uh, not far behind. Bruce Boudreaux talked about the President's Trophy too, Dave. And he said, you know what, doesn't get you anything. He won it once with Washington. Yeah. So he is not pushing his team hard. He said, yeah, we want to do as well as we can. We want points. We want to be in a good position. But he is not striving to win no. the President. Now Fowler for... Kessler just out of his reach. Regeer reached in, and now it's uh, batted off the stick of Silverberg and uh, into the seats out of play. As, as, as tough as the National Hockey League is now just getting into the playoffs, ask the L.A. Kings. Yeah. If you're Anaheim, you look at St. Louis over the last couple of years, they really went for it. 
uh, last year trying to get the President's Trophy. It didn't, it didn't work out. Sometimes you end up using up valuable momentum at the end of the season. It's all about getting in the playoffs, going in the right direction, being as healthy as you can, and having your game in order. And I, I think that ending up the top, there's an icing call. I think that ending up at the top obviously is a big bonus. You get to be home all the way through. The Daryl Sutter's guys know how to do it by being <laughs> on the road yeah. and winning game seven. So they're a long ways from that President Trophy race. But I, I can understand where Bruce Boudreaux is coming from and the Anaheim Ducks. They're striving for points and then see where the chips fall. Ropitar wins the draw. McNabb's shot didn't get through. The body's in the face-off circle as it's chipped back out through center ice. L.A. clinched their playoff spot last year with five games remaining the year before with four, and they were playing game number 81 in 2012 when they actually clinched. And uh, that was the year they won the first of their two Stanley Cups. This is going to be another icing here against Anaheim. Saturday, March 28th, the Malaysian Grand Prix is live on NBCSM, where supersonic storms meet supersonic speed. The Malaysian Grand Prix live Saturday, March 28th, here on NBCSM. Jeff Carter's been a big focal point of the Ducks. I'm right here on the end of the Ducks bench, and Carter's lines up. They're very organized here on the bench. You can you can hear them say Carter's line, Carter's line, and same thing with Kopitar. Those one that one-two punch of the Kings. Anaheim's making sure they get the guys out there that they want. Kessler has seen his share of Carter. Carter wins the draw, Sakara so shot right through, but Gibson had a good look at that. And we will step aside with five and a half remaining in the third. Ducks with a two-one lead. Ducks have been really good in this third period, scored both of their goals. They got it going early. Really nice fake shot here by Wisniewski over to Getzlaff. Perfect feed. Maroon puts it in. A lot of momentum carried from that. And then Silverberg setting up the play, coming in, swooping in. Jonathan Quick wasn't happy about it. He thought he was interfered with in the paint, but the goal stood. And the Ducks have done a good job in the third. And a great job in one goal game. They didn't lose in regulation in a one goal game until uh, the month of March against Vancouver. They are comfortable in these situations. Uh, Silverberg, whose goal is the difference right now, dumps it in deep and Quick moves it along. Dowdy slaps it up the far side and Quick and uh, Silverberg took a little bit of time to get separated. Now here's Gabbert with a shot that's blocked in front. Near the side by Gibson as LA attacking the front of the net. As Lindholm hands it off on the far side and it's sent by Bolesky into the LA zone. Drew Doughty was hunting at the blue line there too. Bolesky pulled up because it was going to be a line change anyway, but the Kings defense have really been hunting at their blue line, looking for big hits since the beginning of the game. Whoa, there's an offside. Kopitar couldn't stay on the blue line. We've seen Matt Green hunting along the blue line. We've seen Doughty do it. Robin Regeer has done it as well. So it's, it's had an effect on the rush of Anaheim. The Anaheim forwards have to have their heads up when they're attacking the Kings zone. Now Wisniewski sends it across. And Stoner sends it along. Be chased down here by Muzzin. Clifford is checked by Edom. Now Clifford pushes it along. It's picked up by Green. Right wing side for Williams. Four and a half remaining here in the third. Lifted ahead by Muzzin. It'll be chased down by Lewis. Into the boards by Stoner. Now it comes to the near side of the Anaheim zone. Centering pass picked up in front. Williams scores! Justin Williams! Justin Williams and big goals are just simultaneous things. Muzzin up on the forecheck, loosens this puck. The defenseman in there protecting the puck well. He throws it out into the slot area, and Williams, who's on his back end, is able to shovel it underneath Gibson. Gibson's tracking the puck, gets his legs split open, but really nice move by Williams to open him up and then slide it five hole underneath him. We got a tie hockey game. 
Muzzin and Lewis drawing the assists on the 18th of the season for Justin Williams. And we have a 2-2 game with just over four minutes remaining here in the third. Carter's pass across goes off a stick back into the Anaheim zone of the Dutch Fowler quickly on it. Sent to the head for Cogliano and he sweeps it deep into the LA zone. Regeer is there, Silverberg on him. Now Thompson out to the line, Fowler. Sends it along. Be chased down on the far side. Cogliano was there. He tried to get it in front for Thompson. Good stick by Tyler Tofoli. Now it comes to Carter and he lifts it back to center ice. Ducks try to counter quickly as L.A. making changes. Abe Thompson gets it deep. Now it's picked off by Dowdy. Angles it off the boards for Kopitar. Hands it off now for Dustin Brown across the line. Brown out high with a shot. Sent wide on the stick side of Gibson. Now Gabbard for Dowdy. Dowdy centering pass. Brown was occupied. Couldn't get a stick on it. Now McNabb off the board. It comes to Gabbard with a chance. And that hit a stick. Now Dowdy again for Gabbard. L.A. charging here. In this tie game, killer instinct. Now it comes back to Dowdy. He fakes the one-timer. Now he'll let a shot go. Picked up by Brown. Hands it off up high for McNabb with a shot that missed the net. Now Dowdy with it again. Dowdy put it right off the goaltender Gibson. It bounced out to McNabb. He hands it off on the far side. Lots of possession of the Anaheim zone here for the King. But as I say that, it's taken away by the Ducks with two and a half minutes remaining. And a pass for Maroon. Ends up in the corner, Maroon and Kopitar go after Bryant. What a back check by Kopitar. Kopitar was caught going the wrong way. He just stopped and worked as hard as he could to get back in there and stops to play in his own end. Here is Lewis with it. Lewis behind the goal line now for Clifford. L.A. with a 15-8 shot advantage here in the third period. Now Lewis feeds it out to the point. Muzzin. Muzzin. Tried to get it toward the front of the net. Too many bodies there. Now Fowler able to work it ahead to center ice. Here's Ryan Kessler. Kessler pushes it into the L.A. zone, but Williams takes over for Green. And Matt Green plays it out to center ice for Lewis. Hands it back down for Green. Minute 45 remaining in regulation time. Boy, did L.A. ever pick it up. From the time they scored that goal, they have not let off the gas pedal here against Anaheim. Now Green plays it ahead to Foley, wanted to get it deep, it was blocked, and the Ducks come back to get control. Now Silverberg across the line into the LAN, his shot was blocked. Taken back by the Ducks, out to the line, Boschman. Puck jumped on him a little bit. Now Cogliano, high slot. He goes to Silverberg. The Kings converge on the puck, able to clear it. And Anaheim back into the row end to regroup. Broken up by Carter, center right. Sweeps it back in on Gibson, and Gibson has to cover up with 103 remaining in the third. Well, again, as we show you the uh, conference standings, you see L.A. currently third in the Pacific with 81. Over on the right-hand side, Calgary also with 81 points is below that line, only because they started tonight having played one more game. So L.A. needs a point in this game to stay ahead of both Calgary and Winnipeg, because if they're even in points with Winnipeg, L.A. wins the tiebreaker with the Jets. They don't win a tiebreaker with Calgary. That's how tight things are <laughs> to get in in the Western Conference. Boy, Kopitar has been really good in this game. He's had a terrific third period again, both offensively and defensively. Ducks control the draw in their own zone. Lindholm plays it ahead. Thompson sends it along the boards behind quick. He moves it back out the far side for Dowdy. Center ice. Left wing pass now for Gabbert. Marion Gabbert takes a wide, puts it in on Gibson who made the save. Now Kopitar knocked away by Lindholm. Picked up by Dowdy. He fakes the shot. Now lets it go. It's blocked by Getzlaff. And Ryan Getzlaff starts it back the other way. Ends it deep into the L.A. zone. Quick for Dowdy. For Lewis. He chops it ahead now and... Dustin Brown will backhand it into the Anaheim zone. Down to 20 seconds remaining here in regulation. Perry drops it back. Olshaman has it. Back behind his net, looking up at the clock. 10 seconds remaining. Now it comes to Ryan Getzlaff. Center ice, he'll flip it in on quick, force him to catch it and play it. 
And that keeps the clock moving. Getzlaff is saying, what's going on here? That should have been a whistle. Should have been a face-off with time remaining. That was well played, but well played by Jonathan Quick. Getzlaff wanted that yeah. last face-off. It was a smart play by Getzlaff. Make him, make him hang on to it. Maybe we get that one or two second face-off. It didn't happen. Jonathan Quick has to make sure he catches it, first of all. Gets it, puts it down. He has to pull it away from, I believe that was Cogliano in there on the rush. He got away with it. Well done. Each team with a point, a very important point for both. We'll be back with overtime. Well, he has uh, earned the nickname as Mr. Game 7 for his scoring prowess in Game 7s throughout his playoff career. And Justin Williams just scored another big goal here for Jonathan Quick and the LA Kings to earn a point that will keep them above the playoff line regardless of what happens now in overtime or potentially a shootout. And Anaheim for now breaks the tie with St. Louis atop the Western Conference. And also the tie with the Rangers of Montreal if you're looking at the overall standings. Kopitar, Gabrick, Dowdy Regeer for Daryl Sutter. Bruce Boudreaux counters with Ryan Kessler. Rockham Silverberg. Simone Dupre and Cam Fowler. A little flip pass for Dowdy and Gabrick had gone offside and couldn't get back. And so a face off center ice for Daryl Sutter's team. That has uh, not done that great when games have gone past regulation. Bruce Boudreaux's team 13 and 7 in games that have gone beyond regulation. L.A. is just 3 and 13. Look at how many points L.A. has left on the table. Unable to get these extra points. Now Kessler. Hands it back now for Fowler. Dupre being watched by Gabbert. Sends it out to center ice. Kessler. Sends it softly into the L.A. zone. Fowler, the defenseman up there, takes a hit from Regeer. Now Kessler below the goal line. Ryan Kessler with it, wheels back out in the face-off circle. He's open for a shot, he scores! because it's four on four, it allows you a little more room. And Kessler really used it. He comes in, makes a, an astute play along the boards to loosen the puck. Nobody comes on him. Defensemen come down from the blue line. Lindholm did, and that got the attention of Gabrick. And Gabrick took his man to the net, bumped into Dowdy, so both Gabrick and Dowdy are at the net. Kessler realizes he's got lots of time and room. He loops the top of the circle, picks his spot, and I think he put it in under the arm of Jonathan Quick, and it's two points for Anaheim. And what a play by Fowler. He took the hit to make the play. He gets the only assist on the game-winning goal by Ryan Kessler, his 18th of the season. Final score on Wednesday night rivalry presented by Coors Light in overtime. In overtime, it's the Ducks three and the Kings two. For Brian Engblom and the rest of our crew here at Honda Center, I'm Dave Strader. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for NHL Overtime coming up after these messages. Thanks for watching.